Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Robin from DxO and in this video I want to share what's new in the Knit Collection 6. The Knit Collection 6 delivers the next evolution of the innovative Upoint technology. This has long differentiated the Knit Collection from its competitors, making it easy for you to create powerful selections quickly and easily. Upoint technology is based on control points, which makes the interactive selections possible and local adjustments predictable and efficient. Now in the Knit Collection 6, it's possible to take the next step to refining the precision and blending of control points. Using the luminance and chrominance sliders, we can control the sensitivity of control points to both colour and light. The new diffusion slider then enhances this further, allowing us to control the mask blending to produce beautiful and natural adjustments. The U-Point technology in the Knit Collection means that you don't need to be an editing expert to produce gorgeous photography. Control points create circular adjustments and can be grouped together to produce larger selections. But now there's a new control line feature that makes this even easier. These also feature the luminance and chrominance sliders for complete control. Another way to select large areas easily is with the new invert feature. This allows us to select an area and then reverse that selection to target everything else. And so that you don't lose track of your different selections, you can name them to make their purpose clear. Then when you have finished your editing, you can save your settings as a preset to apply to the next image. This also includes the option to save your control points and control lines as part of the preset. Sometimes, however, you might forget to save your changes as a preset. When that happens, you'll find that you now have easy access to the most recent 15 edits. You can then apply these to the image with a single click, just like a preset. You will find these features integrated throughout many of the applications in the Knit Collection 6, like Knit Color Effects Pro. That's also where we find a new HSL filter. You can use this to target the different colors in an image to adjust their saturation and brightness. This is a great tool that complements many of the creative filters. Next on the list for new features is the Nick Define noise reduction application. Nick Define automatically measures the noise of a JPEG or TIFF file to remove it. It's also possible to switch to manual and semi-automatic modes as well as repositioning sample points. This has now migrated to a modern interface design shared by many of the other tools, allowing us to use the improved viewpoint features mentioned earlier. Whilst the Knit Collection applications can be used as standalone editors, there's an advantage to using them as a Photoshop plugin. Photoshop allows you to convert layers to smart objects, which can then be used with smart filters. When we do this, our filter settings are saved as part of the smart object in a non-destructive way, allowing us to reopen and adjust the filter later should we need to. Most of the applications in the Knit Collection can already be used as smart filters, providing you remember to convert your layer first. But in the Knit Collection 6, you don't need to remember to do this. Instead, we now have an option inside the plugin to make the conversion. When we use this, it converts the current layer in Photoshop to a smart object, saving our adjustments and control points. Nick Perspective Effects also sees new features which were previously only available in the excellent DxO viewpoint software. This provides tools that allow you to correct the perspective of an image in the most challenging of situations. And not only can you correct the perspective, but the volume deformation feature keeps objects looking natural. Now we have the power of the reshape grid, which we can use to target specific areas of the image. This divides the image into regions or areas using one of four predefined grids. You can also create your own custom grid where you select the rows and columns. Then by moving the grid point, you can reshape a region of the image without affecting other areas. These are just some of the features that you will find in the new Knit Collection 6. To discover all the new features like symmetry tools and the preset search bar, visit our website knitcollection.dxo.com.